Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th, so, so this is going to cover the new moon on October 16th. Um, I just did one, but it's so long, and I don't like to put out long videos. I may, may, probably not. Anyhow, um, I think it's going to be a very intense week for you. Let's get started. I think that there's going to be some frustrations with the new moon energy that's coming in. Uh, the tower was right in the middle of the reading, so you may be uh, dealing with something that is extremely profound, okay? There could be an event that... Uh, shakes up your life. There could be a major shake up towards the middle of the week, maybe right around the 16th is what I saw. Um, so right around that new moon, I feel like there's going to be, you may, something may scare you. You may, you know, because I had the nine of swords next to the tower, which is the nine of swords was reversed. Um, so there could be some, you know, extremely worried. So I do feel like you may be dealing with a fire sign. We had the queen of wands reverse. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may be throwing a fit, maybe having a tantrum, uh, revengeful, um, controlling, you know, wanting to control, may have had their ego, uh, you know, they're in their pride. You know, this person is feeling very prideful, so they're reacting. They're reacting in a negative manner. Um, there's a third-party interference this week that is causing you problems. It could be one of your friends. It could be an ex-friend, somebody who is not your friend anymore that is very jealous of you, that is looking for some sort of ego boost. Misery loves company, so when they're miserable, they try to make themselves feel better. So it could be a fire sign. I believe it's a fire sign. could also be a Libra. These two people could be working together as well because I saw they had the three of cups, which were, were friends, but they're not really your friends. There could be some gossip going on. Um, it could be family members, um, you know, uh, gossiping and gossiping leads. It eggs people on. It's like peer pressure. You know what I mean? So there could be people that are ganging up and somehow you're involved um, so I think that you're going to need to be aware of that. Mm. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Now, I would tend to say that that is your energy. <laughs> so, Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So you are on the right path. But there is an unwillingness to change, and I believe that is most definitely yours. So, um, what do we have for Taurus for the week of October 12th through the 19th? What do we have for Taurus? Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles is about... Begging. It looks like these two people are wanting some help. They're begging, begging for help, begging for attention, but they're not really asking, which is, it's hard to explain. It's like these people, they need help, but they're not willing to ask for help. So you could be dealing with some people that, you know, are begging for attention. We just talked about this. You are, you're dealing with somebody that is two people. And I do believe it's two people. These two people are working together and they're begging for attention. Okay? So you got a couple people that are begging for attention. I know that it's two people. I feel like it's a um I feel like it's a Libra. I don't know why, because we had balance in the other one. And a fire sign. Eight of Pentacles. I could be wrong though about the signs. Now, Eight of Pentacles is about work putting in a lot of effort, working really hard. So some, and this could, and now I'm going to change this a little bit. These, these are both cards about, uh, fine financials, right? So we have somebody here that may be struggling financially, but their hard work is going to pay off. Okay. Your hard work is going to pay off. Okay. You have some skills here that can make you money. If you were, struggling financially things are going to pay off for you i feel like you things are going to work out in your favor because of the hard work that you are doing 
okay? Your hard work is not going unnoticed, Taurus, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, judgment reverse. Now, this is lack of awareness. Some truth is going to be revealed. You may be unaware that your work is going to pay off. You may be wondering or, or wondering why things are not going the way that you thought. But you're going to, you're, it's, it, it, everything is happening for a reason. If you're worried, if you're worried about things not working out, don't worry about it. Judgment reversed. This is lack of awareness. Self-doubt. We have this, there's some sort of doubt here. There's a need for advice. We got somebody here that's extremely stubborn, is unwilling to change. You are on the right path. Don't give up. You may be having some doubts this week. What are you doubtful of? Doubtful that something is going to work out. It's going to work out. That's just fear, whatever it is. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Where some of you are are worried about money. You're worried about money. You're worried about. Oh, you may be worried about getting approved for something. You may be worried about that. There is definitely, you know, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is unfaithful. It's irresponsible. It's food issues. It's uh, no long-term plan. I wonder if there's some sort of employment issues here. Some of you may be worried about your job. There's some sort of financial burden here. You guys are worried. You may be worried about your money or worried about your job. There's, I feel like it's, I feel like uh, you may be unaware of something. You're not seeing something clearly. There's some hard times here and there could be some poor health. Your health may be a little off this week. You may be feeling lazy you know you may not have a lot of energy you may have no desire to work this week um there's unhealthiness here okay right here needing some sort of help needing advice you may need to listen to some advice and you may have a hard time it looks like that's the case i feel like you you there's some sort of advice there's there's help somebody may have some information for you that can help you but you're refusing to listen to that Five of Cups reversed. Beginning to see, beginning to see that there's another opportunity. You're going to begin to see, or somebody is going to begin to see. There's some sort of grievance here. This is moving on, focusing on the future, accepting something you've been unable to accept but this is now accepting accepting a loss because of this knight of pentacles reversed you will need to accept <coughs> now the five of pentacles is about abandonment there's some sort of abandonment here of neglect well it's neglecting to see somebody has been neglecting to see They've been neglecting to see something. I need a drink. <coughs> Excuse me. Lack of focus as well. Temperance. Now, temperance is a card of change, healing. Compromising, blending to create harmony. You may need to blend. You may need to make some compromises this week. This is extremely stubborn as well. Something may have, uh, there may be some sort of delay or 
something may have been stopped because of lack of movement. Somebody was not moving forward. But there's a change that is coming. Five of Cups reverse is letting bygones be bygones. Healing. A change is coming. It is a positive change. But you have to stop doubting. You have to stop doubting yourself. This is stop doubting. Okay? Wake up. You have to stop doubting yourself this week. Stop doubting. Now this is a this is uh needing to blend, needing to uh accept and allow, accept and allow something. You need to allow stop being so stubborn. Now there's focusing on the future. Somebody may want a reunion with you because these are both right here. This is this could be like somebody that left you know, that didn't see your value or something. Okay. Somebody may not have seen your value, uh, may want a reunion. So there's, no, I don't know who this person would be. Now it could be a Sagittarius, could be a Scorpio, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this is about change and healing. Somebody may have say, say that they've changed. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Now, this is insecure. Needing to be disciplined. You're going to need to be disciplined this late week. Somebody may want a reconciliation or they may want you to give them a chance. This may be somebody that you worked with before or somebody that abandoned you, somebody that ghosted you. Now this person wants a chance. They may not want you to leave. You may be really questioning your, this is questioning independence. You may be questioning your independence this week, whether you want to stay or go. A change is coming for sure. It feels as though uh, somebody is going to be putting in a lot of effort. This is somebody that ghosted you, somebody that abandoned you, somebody that uh, stalled, delayed, procrastinated, hurt you. Now they want a chance with you. They may say that they've changed. Like, I know I'm repeating myself. This is a repeat. It really is. This is like... You know, do you want to repeat that same cycle over again? You're going to need to take action. You are going to need to be disciplined. You're going to need to listen. You need to remember that you complete you. You've done a lot of healing, Taurus. You've done a lot of healing. Do you want to go back to somebody that abandoned you? Okay. That ghosted you. That neglected you. That didn't put in effort. That hurt you. That made you cry. I really feel like uh, this, is, this is somebody that is going to be putting in effort. That, you know, this person was not aware of your value. They were not aware of your value. They were not aware of your worth. And now you, and now you are going to have to make some sort of choice by the looks of things. Ah, now Nine of Wands reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands, that's extremely overwhelmed, expecting trouble, refusing to compromise. Now, I, you may deal, be dealing with somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. Okay, just saying, with the Queen of Wands reversed next to the Nine of Wands reversed. I feel as though there is somebody coming around that um, is hurt. This person is hurt. They've been wounded. This person may have been wounded by another woman. Okay, or another man, another person. That person hurt them. 
Now you don't trust. Now you don't trust this, this person that is coming around, right? You don't trust them. And you have a lot of personal fear, right? You have a lot of fear. You have, may even have some hard feelings with this person. I feel like there's hard feelings over them engaging with somebody else. Um, I feel like you're going to be very distrustful this week. I feel like uh, somebody is going to really test you. They're going to test your patience. I think that you're going to be frustrated. I feel as though uh, somebody, somebody that is very disagreeable, that has a lot of pride, extreme pride right here. You got somebody here that is extremely prideful. I feel like this person um, is coming in your direction. Okay, this person, you can prepare, be prepared for this person to, you know, show up in some way. Okay, this person is, I feel like this person is coming, they're arriving. Um, Great personal fear, a lot of doubt. Somebody may even feel ashamed. They may feel ashamed for not putting in effort, okay, um, for not seeing your value. I feel like this person, you, you're really going to have to be disciplined, okay? I feel like you've been on your own. You've been working on yourself. You've done a lot of healing. You've changed and you've, you've evolved. You're not the same person. You're focusing on the future. You're not wanting to reconcile. And uh, I don't know who this person is, but it feels like they um, want to put in effort now. Now they want to put in effort. Now you've been on a new path. Do not let this person stop you. This person's going to try to stop you. It feels like they're going to, and maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving and they're going to try to stop you from moving. Um, but anyhow, this five of pentacles is abandonment. It's ghosting. Now putting in effort. They weren't aware of your value. Now they're angry. They're upset. They're definitely upset. And they're upset because they were wounded by somebody else. And they need that ego boost, right? They need you to take care of them. They need your whatever it is. Hmm. A fool. Now the fool is a new beginning. Starting over, starting from scratch. Somebody wants to start from scratch. They want to start over. They want to leave all, everything behind and start from scratch. This is somebody, and this is risky. It's very, very risky. I feel as though uh, this is just very sudden as well. I think that you should get prepared for uh, to make a decision. I, okay, um, you're going to have to let go of your fear. You're going to have to be honest with yourself. Um, somebody is going to be uh, expressing their feelings to you. This person um, wants to start over with you. Okay? Um, and it's because they've been rejected. They've been rejected by somebody else. Okay? I feel like this was a one-sided situation in the past. Um, there is one-sidedness. There's a lack of reciprocation. Uh, one person did all the work. The other, you know, was pretty lazy. But now, you know, somebody has learned their lesson. You're going to have to be disciplined this week. You have done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of inner work. You're not the same person that you used to be. Are you going to repeat those negative patterns? Are you gonna are you awoken or are you asleep? Somebody may feel guilty. 
Somebody may be apologizing to you. They feel guilty. There is a chance for reconciliation here. There is a chance to start over. There definitely is. The choice will be yours. You're on the right path. Do you want to go back? Have you learned your lesson? You will be choosing which direction you're going to go this week. Whoever this person was really, 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 really hurt you. Now this could be negative repetitive, pa repetitive patterns. Have you learned? I feel as though you have an opportunity to step into unknown territory. But that will require leaving the past in the past. This week you're going to be making that choice. It is going to be intense. It's time to move on from the bad choices that you made. Some of you are going to be moving somewhere. Okay? Working. And this could be job related. This could be a new job. Working someplace else. This is a week of moving on from something that is karma. It's bad karma. It's a karmic karmic debt. <laughs> right here. That is a karmic debt. And that is no joke. That is absolutely a karmic debt. That is paying a karmic debt. But you pay that karmic debt by leaving it. Okay, that you by leaving it in the past, by not repeating it, by not repeating that cycle. This is a new phase. This is uh, stepping forward in blind faith. Stepping into uncharted territory, going someplace else, leaving the past behind. Moving away from the past. This is the card of the past. This is moving away from it. So this week, you will be making a very <sighs> well, judgment is about a decision, a final decision. This may bring you closure, okay? Anyway, it's a time of change, and I think you're gonna you're going to be making the choice in regards to whether. Uh, you want to stay or you want to go? I think it's a big choice. Self-discipline is going to be key this week. You will need the discipline to say no. Because you will be tested. Have you learned? Or do you want to repeat? Good luck.